morning and how are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. Now today I am taking you from the busy streets of Bangkok to the beautiful beaches of Bali. First, I have to get through all this traffic to the airport. I hope I've left enough time. <sighs> Always underestimate in Bangkok. Now, Bangkok is served by two airports. You've got Shivani Boom, which is on the east, and has got a nice train that goes direct to the airport to the center and crossing the BTS, so it's quite easy and time efficient to get to. Um, but only the national carriers fly there, like Etihad Airways, Singapore Air, Thai Airways, they fly into there. If you fly with the more budget airlines around Asia, you have to go to the airport in the north, Don Muang Airport. Now, it's quite a bit far north. There's no train station there yet. They are building a train uh, line there, but uh, that's been in progress for years. So you have to get a taxi. So I ordered mine at 8 a.m. this morning, and I have um, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, Three and a half hours to get to the airport, get through the queues, check in and get my flight. I've been going hmm, maybe 10 minutes and haven't covered the first kilometre yet. I think it's something like 35 kilometres so, and, and I've taken the expressway so I paid the toll. There's two routes you can take to Don Ring from the centre. There's uh, the one via the, the main streets and then there's a toll expressway. Um, I usually take the Toll Expressway because you do get there a bit quicker. But this morning the traffic is not looking pretty. Does it ever? always seem to be understaffed for check-in and then you queue for immigration and then you've barely got time for toilet and coffee but hopefully I hope today I have I've still got two hours so I have left plenty of time queues allowing let's get in there get checked in my lucky day. Queues 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 all have long queues and by comparison my check-in in section 1 quite short. Should only take me 30 minutes to get through and that's a short queue here so I might have time for coffee on the other side. Definitely need the toilet. A little bit of time to relax. Got through the check-in queue. It only, I can't believe I'm saying this, took 30 minutes. Queues were quite short in my, for my flight, which is great. Excuse me. Um, then through security, oh no, then through passport control, then through security, queues for everything. But from arriving at the airport to getting through uh, to this point, to getting my coffee and a toilet break, 
took me 45 minutes, which is, I would say, quite quick for Don Moyang. So I'll leave an hour, hour and a half at least if you want to relax it to be not too stressed. Now, time to enjoy my coffee. Have a nice day. So, leave the toilet, had some coffee. Now time to make my way to the gate. Always leave time to get to your gate because, as usual, mine's the furthest to walk although I'm cheating and using a walkway. It's quite good and healthy to actually walk around an airport. But some of them are quite big, but it's nice to stretch your legs before you're cooped up in a plane for, I think I'm gonna be four hours on this flight. That's Bangkok to Denpasar in Bali. So, taking it easy. Flight should be boarding about now-ish. So I'll go and join the scrum of people who will all leap up and rush forward, even though there is a seat for everybody who's checked in, as if there isn't and then enjoy my flight. Now, a quick tip for you for security. When you put your bags on the plane, you obviously put all your clothes and all your non-valuables in your big bag that you check in. And most people are obsessed with locking it, wrapping it up, making sure that's safe. But it should be just clothes and nothing valuable. That means all your valuables, your wallet, your passport, your spending money, your cameras, and everything is in your hand luggage. Now that is far more important to secure, especially on long haul flights where you might be taking a nap or busy flights, like the one I'm on today, where you might not be sitting close to your bag in the overhead locker. So remember to couple a little, take a couple of padlocks so you can uh, lock and secure your bag that goes in the overhead thing so you're not worrying about it in the journey and unfortunately in all airlines everywhere theft from overhead lockers from other passengers is becoming more prevalent and we are bar boarding 10 minutes after we're supposed to take off but on our way i made it to my seat proud of you thank you and it's a busy flight looks like it's gonna be full I did get my bag in the lucky locker overhead. Thank you very much.